Hello everyone, in this video we will use sweeper to create carousel in react.js Ok, we will build something like this Ok, let's come here Back, I used flip effect for it It looks like this, ok, these are the dots that we have, ok Come back, and this is the slider that we have, ok And also we can remove all of them, these dots, this slider And also this arrows that we have, and also the effect Let's remove the effect first so I remove the uh, effect, it looks like this now, ok, simply ok. So we will create this carousel in react.js now, so let's get started. Yeah, so to use this sweeper.js library, so first of all we should install that. And before that let's come to the sweeper website, ok. This is the sweeper website, let's come here down to the react. After coming to the react component, and just come here to install it npm i sweeper ok it will be installed yeah that will be installed right now yeah the library has installed successfully so now let's check it and let's come here to the sc the sweeper has installed ok so after installing this, now let's use it. We have this op component, okay. In this component, we don't have. Let's create another component by the name of slider. Dot gsx. After that, let's write. And here we will use our um, uh, sweeper, okay. So first of all, just come here back and how to use. First of all, we should import this. And let's import it. After importing this, let's now import the CSS. Yeah, after importing the CSS, uh, let's just uh, first we will just use this. Later we will uh, use the images inside that. Okay, for the testing purpose, once we will use it, is it working or not? Let's run our application. npm run view. So it will run our React server. So let's move to this URL. Let's open the Chrome. What's happening? Let's check it. Yeah, we have just up. So let's import the slider inside up. Uh, let's import that. That has imported. So let's check it. That has refreshed. So we have this slide. See these slides which we have okay we have four slides see we have these four slides so now let's add images to these slides and also we will add other options later let's come here to the slider so to add the images so let's write instead of this mg image and the source would be uh, we have in our public folder in images we have these images so let's use them images slash get one dot gpg copy this and paste it here and instead of get one just write get two and also instead of this let's write uh, not get one beauty yeah beauty one dot gpg and inside this let's write again beauty 2 copy this paste it here and it is beauty 2 so now let's check it how it looks like yeah it looks like this uh, so now let's make it we will just make them 2 and also let's remove these and now let's check them yeah it looks like this okay so now let's add some changes to them we will just uh, add some width and height to the images. I will add I will add inline CSS. Okay, so for that I will just write on all these element style width is equal to hundred percent. So save it. Let's check it now. Yeah, it looks like this now. Okay, so we can just display just one of them also. So the gap is fifty. This is the gap okay between them and also we it would like to display just one of them so this uh, slide preview just one okay 
so it will display just one to us okay so now let's add uh, more properties of uh, slider so to add those properties just come here again to the website and here we will just add this website this okay let's copy this we should import it first and put it here and also let's instead these are the css files but uh, instead of all uh, importing all these css files so let's import it first yeah it's okay later i will import just one file instead of all of them and after that let's use them uh, to use them let's model send uh, slides preview navigation pagination code bra let's copy all of them and instead of this paste those and this should be just one and yeah everything is okay let's come here back to our page see we have this like bar and here we should display the pagination uh, so i will just make it first uh, just to display two to see all uh, see this is the scroll bar that we have but we cannot see this the error is in these CSS files instead of all of them so i will just come here sweeper slash uh, sweeper dot yeah let's move to So to find that let's come here to the node modules and come here to the find sweeper yeah sweeper and come here to the sweeper and just find let's check it uh, sweeper.bundle.css but uh, instead of that sweeper.bundle.main.css we should import this okay sweeper sweeper.bundle sweeper bundle and then um, dot main dot css sweeper bundle dot main dot css okay yeah we imported that so now let's check it okay yeah um, it looks like this uh, refresh it see it is working okay these are working and also these dots and also this is the slider okay this is the slider so now if we make it um, let's first of all remove these let's close it okay so we close it okay and just come here and just make it one okay and come here add height i will add height to all of them so i have added height to all of them 100 vh okay this is good let's check it now yeah it looks like this let's press this one and also we can move by these stars and also we can move our slider so let's use effect for this so to use effect for this let's come here to the original website and come to the effect section these are the effects that we can apply and that so we will use one of them okay just this fade effect copy this and paste it here and after that just come here and in the module section we should write fade effect yeah, here we should add it also after adding that let's just write it to the sweeper okay let's add it okay after adding this so now let's check that yeah i think it will work see that effect has added okay the effect it has added so let's add some another one instead of fade effect we will add uh, another one mm, let's add uh, uh, import for example flip one okay it will be it will be and flip i hope it will work so let's check it now uh, it is, doesn't affect it let's refresh our slide i think the flip is not imported here so let's select a flip uh, import flip 
effect flip okay we should write like this okay not like just effect let's copy this and use it here and let's check it now yeah it is okay now but something has happened so everything is okay nothing is wrong let's check it yeah fresh it again and just uh, it. let's come here and just come here see we have that result see we have the result that is okay that was the effect that we has applied on that so you can apply different effects on that let's just come here and use one which one you like okay so it was all about using um, uh, super js and you creating a carousel in react js i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thank